Hi, I'm Mike, and tonight I'm going to take a look at the Frozen Sonic Mini. The Sonic Mini is the latest budget resin printer from Frozen 3D Printers. Recently there's been a flood of reasonably priced resin printers from a number of different companies on the market, and the Sonic Mini competes with popular models such as the Elegoo Mars and Anycubic Photon. For the most part, all of the printers in this budget category sport similar specifications, build volumes, and overall quality. But what sets the Sonic Mini apart is a new monochrome LCD technology that can cure layers in two seconds or less using the same readily available resins that other printers use. Four times the print speed using common materials and workflow? It sounds like a slam dunk, but is the Sonic Mini really everything it's advertised to be? In the box you'll find the printer itself with a one-piece red UV enclosure. They include all of the safety gear you'll need to get started. Gloves, mask, scrapers, a funnel. There's a USB drive in the box with a sample print and a Chitubox slicer, although I recommend downloading the latest version directly from Chitubox. The included manual is surprisingly complete and appears to be well translated, and the only assembly required is installation of the little rubber feet. The Sonic Mini has a fairly average 4.7 by 2.6 by 5.1 inch build volume, the metal build plate is supported by a single linear rail and threaded rod, and is secured to the Z-axis arm by a single giant knob. Bed level is adjusted through four individual torque screws. Simply attach the plate, loosen the screws, execute the calibration with a piece of paper covering the LCD window, and tighten the screws. It's not as fancy as the ball heads on some printers, but it is straightforward and reliable. Unfortunately, the build plate I received was flat on top, so it tends to hold some resin after the print is complete. Frozen does sell an angle build plate for $20. The vat slides vertically over two threaded rods and is held down by two thumb screws. Unfortunately, the printer I received has a plastic vat, however Frozen advertises that the Sonic Mini now ships with a metal vat, so as long as you're not buying older inventory, you would hopefully get a metal vat. And of course, they will sell you their metal vat for $30. The LCD interface is snappy and easy to use, simply select a print and it's off to the races. The test print came out great, and I've had no issues with subsequent test prints. I've been using Frozen's recommended 2 second layer cure times and elegant water washable resin. The resin has a suggested cure time of 8 seconds, so the Sonic Mini is curing 4 times faster than what Elegoo recommends. The downside to this new fast curing monochrome LCD is that the resolution is only 1080p, which stacks up poorly to other printers in this class, which often come equipped with 2K LCDs. Keep in mind that the jump from 1080p to 2K is only about 30% in the X and Y axis, and even that difference can be mitigated by anti-aliasing. I don't have another resin printer to compare to, but the results from the Sonic Mini are extremely smooth and precise. So overall, is the Frozen Sonic Mini worth purchasing? Well, the build quality is just average. The printer is sufficiently sturdy, but the flat build plate and plastic vat are nothing to write home about. The real selling point, the truly unique feature, is the super fast curing time. Producing prints four to five times faster than the competition is a game changer, even if their LCD loses the resolution battle against similar printers. If you need the absolute best quality from a sub $250 resin printer, and time is no concern, then there may be other printers better suited to your needs. But for me, the Frozen Sonic Mini is the best in class budget resin printer.